It's 16 days of activism against gender-based violence and femicide. Hmm. Why is it that gender-based violence is only amplified in 16 days in our country, South Africa? A question was asked to me today, and they said, as Guanele Foundation, how do you think the masses should be educated about issues of gender-based violence and femicide? And my response was simple. The same way nobody ever imagined that we would have a scourge of COVID-19, that we would be faced with that pandemic. This is the exact same way that issues of gender-based violence and femicide should be dealt with. What do I mean? When the pandemic of COVID-19 hit our country, money was found, money was made available, resources were made available. The government, the leaders, the ministers at hand deliberately intentionally looked under the rocks, looked in the ocean, looked above the sky, looked everywhere, but made sure that money was available. What was this money used for? Well, this money was used to infiltrate and bombard information on print media, visual media, door-to-door -door campaigns, to everyone educating them about the scourge of COVID-19 and how people were dying. Everyone got educated. Whether you wanted to, whether you tried to turn a blind eye, it was in your face. It was always there. The country was brought to its knees where we had a lockdown because our president, the ministers, the government was in panic mode that people were dying. So money was used. Resources came up. Today, if you go to any village, if you go to any poverty-stricken area, you will find that people there are wearing masks. And if you ask them, people there will tell you that we were told to wear masks. We were told to wash our hands and sanitize and social distance to avoid dying from COVID-19. Mm -hmm. So this proves to us as Guanele Foundation that the government is more than capable to raise and find resources from rocks, under the rocks, in the oceans, in the trees, anywhere where resources need to be found for them to educate the masses when the need arises. The question I have is, why is our government failing us to raise money, resources, to educate everyone within our country nationally regarding issues of gender-based violence and femicide? I disagree with President when he said, Gender-based violence and femicide is a second pandemic. Mr. President, gender-based violence and femicide is but the number one pandemic that we are faced with in our country, South Africa. Daily, every minute, every second, every hour, there is an issue of either a woman or a man being victimized or being abused or being violated. Children within school level. When the COVID-19 outrage was, was, was so rife in the country, schools had to change their systems to make sure that they accommodate and educate learners about it. Where's the money? Why can't you infiltrate print media, visual media, and teach the country at large about issues of gender-based violence and femicide? Or is it because... Some people in leadership are afraid that they'll be found wanting. People in leadership will be found wanting because maybe they themselves are perpetrators. 
Or maybe they themselves are victims and they are afraid to speak out and they feel they don't want to speak out or they don't want to expose the pain they've been subjected to. Or they don't want to be exposed that they themselves are enablers. Because remember, gender-based violence and femicide doesn't start by just hitting somebody. But it's in the words we say. The things we do. The sabotage that you deliberately impose on people. The things you say are all red flags underlying issues of gender-based violence and femicide. So how can we solve issues of gender-based violence and femicide? Mr. President, our government, leaders, ministers at hand, take out the money, take out the resources, make the education be viral, just like you did with the pandemic of COVID-19. So there's no way you can tell us there's no money. There's no way you can tell us that you can only amplify issues of gender-based violence and femicide only from the 25th to the 10th, 16 days only. No, something must change. Change is now. From awareness to accountability, you need to be accountable. Give resources. Educate our people. Because if you're able to infiltrate and educate, everybody will know that gender-based violence is a serious pandemic. And the number one pandemic that we are faced with as a country, South Africa. And not this show-off, party-party um, that you're doing, trying to celebrate or amplify 16 days of activism when you are not on the ground, when you don't know what people on the ground go through daily, what they feel on daily basis because you are sitting in your glass air con offices, driving or being driven, living in your high wall houses, but you have the nerve and the guts to stand up and give reports and stats of things that you know nothing about because you do not feel it. You are not on the ground. You don't see it. And us, the people that are on the ground working, hmm, we are just watching. We are watching because trust me, a revolution is about to start in this country. A revolution by young people, young men and women who are saying enough is enough. We are tired of being quiet and being silenced. We will not cower. We will speak out. We will not cower, we will speak out. We will not remain silent to that which our parents and our forefathers accepted and grew up knowing. Where is the money, Mr. President? Government, officials, stop benefiting your friends and families. Stop giving money to people that don't need it. Give us the resources, empower the NGOs on the ground so that we can show you the difference that can be made on the ground since you do not want or are failing to infiltrate our screens, print media with information on gender-based violence and femicide. Door-to-door -door campaigns. Wow, you are very good at that when it's time for elections. But why are you failing us? Cry our beloved country. Cry our beloved South Africa. I personally am not impressed with the speeches that ministers, government officials are making in relation or in regard to gender-based violence and femicide because you know nothing. You don't see it. You don't feel it. You come to us. You want to be debriefed before you speak because you don't know it. You've never felt it. You've never seen it. That is why you have advisors and people who debrief you so that you know what to say. You cannot speak from here because you don't live it. I challenge you. And as much as you are able to give money for COVID-19, do the same for gender-based violence and femicide. I thank you.